All right, so this is the picture of Joe that I'm going to be putting on a couple of different things. I'm going to do some little like cupcake toppers with his face. To do this, you guys, I just figured out, and it's not even hard, I figured out how to use the get rid of background for all of these pictures or remove background. So I went to upload image, go to my images. This is the picture that I wanted to use. Click open. And for this, I choose complex just because it's like a real like picture. So I want it to like pick up everything. Click continue <clears throat> and then come over here and remove background. And literally you just click remove background and it does such a nice job. Like it's basically like having Photoshop on here. It's amazing. And then all I did is I came over here to this little crop button. So now I can crop exactly what I want in the picture so now we have his face and then I wanted to kind of get rid of his collar so I come back over here to the eraser and I just erase away what I don't want make this a little bigger so we're not here for 8,000 years And I think on the one that I have there, I cropped it more like here. So you can't really see his shoulder. So he doesn't look like naked and weird. So you just clean it up and then you can like zoom in to like get the really fine detail. And that is basically it. And again, like I said, I used the tool to get more of his neck off it, out of there so it looks more like just his face so that's what we're left with the, so then once you're once you have it how you like you click apply and continue and obviously something like this we have to do print then cut for we can't like do a cut image that would be insane so I'm going to choose print then cut and click upload and you're done so I did all of that for all of these here these are some nice wedding pictures that we had so that's basically it so I'll take you back to the mat so again this is what I'm gonna use for the cu cupcake toppers I'm doing about like an in a little I'm gonna do a width of an inch and then almost one and a half inches long but one and a half is just like a little like too aggressively long so I think this is about perfect because again this is going on a cupcake so it's not going to be anything like crazy so I'm gonna come over here to make it and obviously I want more than just one I want 24 so I'm gonna come over here to project copies and I'm gonna type in 24 and hit apply so that way I don't have to just hit duplicate 24 times which you could definitely do so that is basically it. So I'm going to come over here to continue. And first we will click send to printer. And I'm going to have the bleed on there just so what the bleed does is it gives you like a little extra layer of color around it so that when you cut it, there's no like white border around whatever you're cutting. So that is my printer. Bleed is on. I want one copy and I'm going to hit print. So I'll switch you guys over to the camera so you can actually see it print in real time. All right, so the cardstock paper that I'm gonna be using for these little like cupcake topper things is this thick cardstock from Michaels. I think, I don't know what pound this is. I don't have the packaging anymore, but I'll look for it. But it's like a heavier, it kind of sounds like poster board. <clears throat> like it's a really thick cardstock compared to like this standard cardstock. This is more like papery. This is thicker. So I want to use this one for the card or for the cupcake toppers just so it kind of like can stand alone on the little toothpick. So I have a piece already loaded in my printer. Okay. 
All right, and so this printer is the HP DeskJet 3755. So is this like the greatest printer on earth? No, but I really like it just for the price point. I think it's a good quality printer, relatively speaking for the price. It's pretty affordable and it's super small. And so you can see like the print quality is like pretty good. Like look at my cutie little gel. All right, so now that we have our cardstock printed, we can put it on our mat. So I'm using the Light Grip Blue Mat. Um, and this is what I would normally use for cardstock. However, all my other mats are really, really not sticky, including this one. So honestly, I hope it holds up. And I'm just going to press the cardstock down on the mat. Just, I don't want to like smear the ink or anything, even though I'm pretty sure it's relatively dry. And also you can see kind of that bleed around. So that's why we have the bleed on. So it's going to cut pretty close to his hat and face so we won't have like a little white border around it. So for my cut setting I'm going to come to browse materials and this cardstock is pretty thick so I want it to double cut just to make sure that it's like a clean clean cut. So I'm going to do glitter cardstock even though it's not but I just want it to be super clean and this will guarantee that it does like a double cut. All right, and our cut settings are good to go, so we can insert our mat just by clicking the little blinking arrows here. And so what it's gonna do first is it's gonna scan for this registration mark to make sure that it knows where to cut. All right, and so now we can get it started by hitting this blinking play button. If you have an older maker, or if you have the Explorer Air 2, this is probably gonna look more like a little Cricut logo, not like a play button. So you could definitely do this on the Cricut Explorer Air 2 or the regular maker. I'm just using my Maker 3 because it's out and it's here. So like I said, it's gonna check for this registration line to make sure it knows where to cut. The last one I cut was kind of wonky up there. So you have to make sure that this registration mark is fully printed on the paper or it will not work or it'll say like there's an error all right so now it's good to go so it is going to go over there and make sure we have the right blade and then it will start to cut All right, so my camera definitely turned off, but um, everything is done printing, so now we can just peel off our cardstock. So this is like the satisfying part, so we're left with all of our little Joes. So now I'm just gonna go in with my tweezers and just pick off each little Joe. All right, so now I have my very disgusting but trusty glue gun. This is like my old school glue gun that I've had for a gazillion years. I've tried to get others but this one is just the best. Well I'm sure there's better out there but I'm just saying this is like a tried and true one. So now I'm just going to glue, oops, I'm just gonna glue his little head on these toothpicks. So I think I'm just going to um, so I'm just going to apply some glue onto the toothpick and then just stick his little head on there. Some cute little Joe cake toppers. Like how cute is that? Where am I going to put him so he doesn't fall down? Forgot, I also got this at the dollar store. So I'll just stick them in there for right now. 
And I'm just going to continue doing that. So we're having like a surprise little birthday thing for him. He basically like knows that there's something going on, but he doesn't know that it's going to be a Joe theme. So we've asked everyone that's coming to dress up as like their favorite Joe character, like a famous Joe, like Joe Montana or Joe Pesci or Trader Joe or Cup of Joe, Joe Mama. Jojo Siwa, which is what I'm personally going to dress up as because it's fun and bright and girly. So it should be super fun. Last year his birthday was, it was fine, but it was not what we would have wanted for like, you know, a fun 30th birthday. So this one, I really want to make it fun for him, special for him. It'll be a nice little 31st birthday. So I'm making just everything Joe theme. And he's a good, 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 good husband, so he deserves it. Alright, so that is basically it for all of my little Joe cupcake toppers. And hopefully I'll be able to show you guys like the finished product. If I get some footage, I will put the footage right here of what, ew, my finger. I'll put the, I'll put like a little snapshot next to it so you can see what the final product looks like. 